project uh, go was on uh, climate resilience and food systems. Uh, we were dealing with uh, maize and process intensification with three main objectives. Uh, the first objective being uh, increasing uptake of regenerative agriculture practices. Uh, two, the VBA model, enhancing the extension model through the VBA model. And the third one is uh, increasing the uh, or uh, ensuring access to information and knowledge generated through regenerative agriculture to partners, stakeholders, and farmers. The target was 100 VBAs, working with 100 VBAs, and each VBA working with 100 farmers. Uh, currently, we have 134 active VBAs and uh, 10,249 farmers. Before the Farm Africa project, we faced problem to do with lack of good varieties of seeds, such as maize seeds, bean seeds. We also lacked quality fertilizers. We also lacked enough knowledge on how to plant and on how to take care of our, our plants after planting. The challenges that we were facing as farmers before Farm Africa uh, includes uh, lack of knowledge about farm input, uh, like fertilizers, we were not able to get the suppliers, good suppliers of fertilizer, therefore we were buying any fertilizer. On uh, scenes, uh, most of the farmers in my free range use just the, the normal maize or beans instead of buying hybrid and certified scenes to plant. And we end row yields in crops. So after the RI project, or after the intervention with the, with the Farm Africa, we were able to get qualified seeds. We were also able to learn more about the RI, the RI practices, such as the, there was mulching, agroforestry, crop rotation, use of manure, and even use of micronutrient, that is use of biphosphate. Farm Africa also introduced us to uh, intercrop, different crops like maize and beans, where we were able to intercrop the cribing beans and maize. And the benefits about the cribing beans is that uh, they improve the soil uh, structure by fixing the nitrogen to the, our soils and improving our soil. And uh, the production of uh, the yields in the farm is doubled because a small area you'll be able to harvest different crops, like you, you will be able to harvest maize and beans. I was introduced to a non-governmental organization by Ministry of Agriculture, whom I used to seek advice from them now and then pertaining agriculture. So they introduced me to Farm Africa, which was an NGO which was wanting to improve agriculture in our area through regenerative agriculture. And then by there, I adopted the process. At the same time, when we were being trained, we were shown the need of having at least a wrist. A wrist, we call, we call it a record keeping. When you are a farmer, you, you are supposed to know what you are doing, whether it is going to be of benefit or it is not going to benefit you. Because as farmers, we just do anything just for the sake of harvesting. Whether you harvest, whether you don't harvest, it's as if we have taken farming as fun. So uh, we came where we were taught, you are trained about uh, record keeping. So when you come to harvest, you get maybe to sell your crop, your harvest, you know the amount of money you used, plus the amount of money you get after you sell your produce and you compare. When you get a profit, you get to know you have been doing something. When you get a loss, you know you have not been doing something. And they, have, they are impressing you so much. My role as a free range based advisor 
is to enable farmers in my village to have more knowledge about regenerative agriculture whereby they will be able to uh, use the uh, uh, regenerative agriculture practices to improve on the yields per unit area of their farm and also I will be able to connect my farmers to suppliers who have licenses to operate as agro leaders and I will also be able to aggregate the farm produce from the farmers to, uh, to prevent loss of uh, produce that are produced from our farms. Tulikuwa tunalima tu kama ni kupanda maidi tunapanda na tunapanda kama ni beans katikati ya maidi bila kujali tunapanda ama tunafanya ni bora tu tupande. Na tulikuwa kwa eka mimi nilikuwa natoa kama 6 6 6 eh, sacks ya maidi na mimi a few depths kama 2 3 depths of beans. But after the from Africa came and we were trained on good farming. Last time I had 15, 15 sacks of maize and three sacks of beans. Before ni ingie na from Africa, mazao yangu haikuwa mingi. Ju nilikuwa nikiwa na mingi sana mahindi ni gunia moja na natosheka. Nilikuwa naona mimi niko sawa. Nilikuwa najiita mkulima hodari but sikuwa najua kuna kitu sijui. So after kuingia na from Africa nimefanya that this season nilikuwa na gunia sita sa mahindi na mbele nilikuwa napata moja ama sometimes napata moja na nusu. Sasa nikiwa na moja na nusu nilikuwa naona niko sawa. Na niliweza kuuza so si kuuza sote. Niliuza only four. Nikaachwa na two na hizo nne nikaweza kupata 8000 ndio walikuwa wananunua kwa ngunia na 2000 This is the first time that we introducing this uh, crop in this eastern and the central region uh, parts of Kenya and uh, one of the main advantages of uh, this soybean uh, uh, crop is that uh, it requires very little rainfall and at the same time, it helps in uh, regenerative agriculture, whereby it, uh, the, the crop, the, the soybean crop is uh, actually known for nitrogen fixation in the soils. And you realize that uh, in most of the soils in eastern parts of uh, Kenya or in the, in the areas of operation, most of the areas, the soils are degraded. Our mandate area in um, Karo Embu are five. Embu County, Tharakanithi County, Meru County, Kirinya County, and Nyeri County. These are counties which have a lot of challenge, especially in food production. And the main issue of them doing quite a lot of all this work we are doing, we are finding soil, our soils are leading to I mean depleting because of nutrients and so we are focusing on some of the technologies to be able to improve our soil so that they can be resilient and they can be able to produce. In this endeavor, from Africa through Angra are hosted by us and also as a collaborator. So they are working in some of the our mandate areas. And the issues they are trying to look at are how can they can improve the farmers' production in their farms. And the one thing they first did was to get soil analysis, to get soil samples from various farmers in Embu County and Nyeri County. And um, they brought those soil samples, there were almost a hundred initially, to get the baseline to know the soils, how are the status of the soil as they, uh, they started the, the, the project. And they brought the soil samples here and we did the analysis for individual farmers and we did the recommendations, what the farmers would apply so that they can be able to, to improve their production. 
after that they thought it is important that they look at now, they follow up those farmers again, and they did the soil sampling after they harvested their crop. Of course, from uh, the discussion with them, they found the farmers were saying they have gotten improvement in their production after they applied the technologies which were recommended by Farm Africa. But then again, they thought it is important they follow it up and see after the, impro the improvement in production, has the soil improved in terms of nutrients? The, the crop will tell us a story, but the soils also will tell us a story. So they brought the same samples again after one season. And after the analysis, we have looked at the results again. And we have found that pH has improved, even sometimes by one unit. Some nutrients have also improved, like phosphorus has improved. In some farms, not all the farms. Zinc has also improved. The other important element uh, when we talk on the VBA sustainability is that uh, having introduced the VBAs to the bin business canvas model, uh, they are able to plug in what is more key to ensure their farmer satisfaction by ensuring that uh, they they have better value proposition to those farmers that they are working with or they are serving in the community. And in so doing, uh, overall uh, food, uh, food productivity can be increased by unit area. Sasa, an, ni mwarimu wetu. Wakati ya riansa kutufundisha, tulikuwa nyuma kidogo. Lakini saa hii, tunaona improvement. Nilikuwa na rimanga ya kamoja, nikafuna ngunia kama tano, nikaansa kuweka fataraisa vili ya nilionyesa, na manyua, nikafuna ngunia kumi, sasa niliendelea kuweka hata manyua, kila kitu na kumochi, maindi yangu, sasa imifika mpaka ngunia 20. Eee. Na rimanga five acres, hapo mbeleni, tulikuwa tunavuna ya chakula kidogo. Nilikuwa na naweza vuna gunia sita ama gunia tano kila sana kumi. Lakini tangu tupatane na Mushiri alitufunza venye tunalima. Sasa kama hii season nilikuwa na gunia 24 bags. Hiyo 10 hiyo 5 acres. Now that now that they have seen they have seen that the RI practices is working. Many of the farmers are even coming to seek advice from me to see how I normally do things so that my, so that my yields increase. Now they want to go with the same trend with me. The more than 144 farmers want now to work with me to increase food in their homes. So. Ni miona hii muhimu ya hii regenerative agriculture na ningeomba hii mradi iendere. Na hata pale tumefika tu hatujapewa samaki, tumeonyeshwa vile tunaweza tega samaki. Kwa hivyo si tutaendelea hata hii mradi ikisha at least tutakuwa tumejisimamia na hatutarudi nyuma kama